Hi, um, my name is Pablo Requena and we are uh, in the middle of a guitar making course here in Spain and we've got to the point in which we're going to be cutting the slots for uh, the housing for the sides and this is the place where the sides meet the neck. So there are many, many ways of doing this job, um, different options. Uh, the system that I use is a wedge system in which we're going to be cut, cutting uh, a space on the block, on the uh, heel block, so that then we can fit in a wedge, and it's that wedge, together with the block, that will trap nice and tight um, the, um, the sides into it. So if we have four cuts to do here, I don't know you can see from there. Can you see these lines? Or do you need to get a bit closer? Yeah? So we have laid out all the lines here, and in the other side as well. And basically the lines that we're gonna follow are the angle lines. If you get so close, I don't know if it's gonna show up, but there you are. And in this side, we're gonna follow the angle line here as well. And it's this section that we are gonna be removing. So for this video, really, I'm only gonna show one of the cuts. Um, but basically, we need to cut along this line all the way across, following the angle. And then we need to cut along this other line, and you can see the width here, and there is slightly different, so that you got that taper into it. And it's sort of reflected on this side as well. Okay, so let's get on and see how we do it. Right. The way I like doing this is to um, work with this side to me so that I can really see what's going on. And if everything goes well in this side, it should also go well in the other side. However, if there's a slight discrepancy, I'm not too worried about discrepancy in this side, but in this side, I'm really, I really would like it to be as good as it can be. So what I do is with a fine saw, I start my cut right next to the line in the inside, okay? And what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna start advancing in this face, but also down this face. So let me just do a bit and then you can see, so I'm moving there and then also down here. You can see that I'm cutting along here, but also quite a lot down here, following the angle line that I want to be cutting. So in doing that, what I'm doing is establishing the angle that we need to have all the way across here. If I start cutting very shallow until we get there, then it's really quite difficult to get the right angle on the saw. And this will go wherever it wants to go to. So doing it this way, I find that if I bring the blade nearly as low as I want it to go, then all I need to do is to keep cutting forward by keeping the blade down here as much as possible. Because that will help me to maintain the angle that I need to have. So, now that I have the blade here, all I need to do is to make sure that I cut along my line. So now you can see that I've gone all the way across, but the blade, it's still all the way down. So as I keep going forward, I'm gonna keep bringing the handle up so that the blade goes down. 
And I'm going to keep checking, but if everything goes well, it should cut along that line as well, because it's really the reflection of this line along here. So I'm just going to cut a little bit more, and then I'm going to have a look and see how I'm doing. And I think this is going fine, so I'm just going to carry on. Yeah, that's looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I want to carry on and I want to stop at the right depth here in such a way that when the saw is all the way down, it needs to be touching that line and this line at the same time. Yeah, I've got it there, and I've got it here. I've got a bit, about a millimetre in that side, and it's pretty much there. So I think, I think that should do it. Yes, I'm happy with that. So, this is the first cut out of the four that I need to do. The other one for this wedge is this one here, which I would do also in the inside. And I would do exactly in the same way. And then all I need to do is get the chisel. Um, something like, well, not maybe that one, maybe one of these. And then all I need to do is to get my chisel and start removing that material until I create the housing for the wedge. So doing it this way, you know that the angle line that you have here, it's also following that side. But not only that, you also know that this face that we made is fairly straight. Having all of this material out, it's also going to allow me to put in a file if I need to adjust anything. So basically this is how you do it, and perhaps in another video I'll show the whole thing all in one go, but I think for now this is really what I wanted to show you. So I hope you uh, find that helpful, and if you need any more explanations, please send me an email or contact me and let me know. Thank you very much.